Since the release of its first season back in 2013, it didn't take long for The Blacklist to become one of the most popular crime dramas in the history of NBC. And with an impressive cast, coupled with some of the craziest twists around, this was really no surprise. But what do we know about the remainder of the last installment of the show? And why aren't fans happy? For all this and more, stay tuned. First of all, let's talk about the potential reveal of Raymond Reddington's identity. As this is a question that seems to be on every fan's lips at the moment. For those of you who don't know, Raymond Reddington is a criminal of high regard who one day surrenders himself to the FBI with the sole intention of helping the organization catch deadly criminals. All he asks for in return is to work with a young agent by the name of Elizabeth Keene. That was, in a nutshell, what the blacklist was all about, with many wondering whether Raymond Reddington was indeed the real name of this wanted fugitive. And considering how he eluded capture for all those years, it would make sense that this was nothing more than an alias. But fans are well aware that season 9 might very well spell the end for the show. It's the first season without the talented Megan Boone as Elizabeth Keene, and now that the leading lady is gone, things are barely the same. Another crucial member of the crew, showrunner John Bokenkamp, is also absent from the filming process, which explains why season 9 is feeling a lot more different than we thought it would. So since season 9 might very well be the last season of the show, many fans are wondering whether the question of Red's true identity will finally be dropped. It would be rather sad to have things end with one of the biggest mysteries left unanswered just so NBC can milk the show for another season. Remember, Reddington isn't actually Elizabeth's father. Although this would have made complete sense, considering how he came out of hiding just to work with her, the showrunners thought it would be a great idea to instead misdirect us with the notion. And while the reveal that he was actually an imposter posing as her father was surely one of the most shocking twists of the series, it must be said that we have no idea what his intentions are right now. We know that his identity was forged by Katerina Rostava and Ilya Kozlov a few years back, but we still have no idea what the reasoning behind this was. Worse yet, we have no idea who Red actually is, and there's no doubt that this has more to do with why he's actually still working for the Federal Bureau. Some fans have actually suggested that Katerina is still alive somewhere, and will now come out of hiding after hearing that her daughter was shot at the end of the eighth season. But this still doesn't tell us anything about Red's true name. What many are expecting is for this reveal to be the final scene of the season, with Katerina showing up only to call Red by his true name. Whether this will tell us anything in the long run, or leave space for another season, we have no idea. But a lackluster answer to the question is better than no question at all. We suppose we'll have to see how the showrunners handle it. By the sound of things, James Spader wants an actual answer, though. When discussing the possibility of Red's identity being revealed in an interview a couple months ago, he said that a single answer seems far too easy. So if it was left up to him, we wouldn't have the scenario where Red is called his true name followed by the rolling of the credits. He wanted an actual explanation so as to delight fans and add substance to a character that he's been playing for almost a decade now. And with Megan Boone now gone, he's undoubtedly the leading man of the franchise. So if the showrunners want there to be another season, we have a feeling they're going to have to do whatever it takes to keep him on board. And honestly, this might be a bit harder than anyone expects. With the Marvel Cinematic Universe now splitting the multiverse wide open, many have been asking for the return of Spader as the voice of Ultron, which could ultimately see him becoming far too busy for anything Blacklist related. A Marvel check is not something you turn down, after all, so the showrunners will have to convince him that a return is in his character's true interest. That being said, we doubt the writers have even established what Red's real identity is yet. It's true that John Bokenkamp had a vision of this from season one, but since he's left the show, we doubt this vision will come to fruition. Either way, we desperately want an answer. Amir Arison, on the other hand, is an open book. The actor who is probably best known for his portrayal of Aram Mojtabai on the show held a special Instagram Live the other day in which he divulged some behind-the-scene knowledge. Alongside Karina Aroyev and Diane Rodriguez, he opened up about a rather heartbreaking moment from season 9 that still makes him tear up to this day. He was, of course, referring to the moment that Mirce Zui broke things off with Red and said a rather emotional goodbye. His relationship with Zui took fans by surprise at first, but quickly became an avenue through which they experienced more about their favorite character. Rather than being quippy at all times, he was able to show his vulnerability to her. And since it was heartwarming to see Red happy for the first time in ages, it's no wonder that their inevitable end brought a tear to Arison's eyes. Remember, the two started this relationship during the two-year leap from the death of Elizabeth Keene, so Red has also lost the only person he has ever been able to talk to about the loss of his dear friend. And while she may return at some point in the future, we doubt things will be the same now that they've broken things off for real. But Amir did tease that this isn't the end for Red, who will no doubt recover from this moment of heartbreak by throwing himself into the next investigation that is no doubt on the horizon. The question is, when will the show actually return? It's a question fans have been fuming over for the
the last few weeks, which saw The Blacklist disappearing from the television schedule without a single word from the showrunners, very much in the same way that Red disappears from the task force every now and then. For those of you who don't know, Season 9 began with a massive time jump that had fans confused as to whether they would learn more about the effects that Keen's death had on the rest of the crew. A flash forward isn't exactly the best way to reveal the information about who gave away Elizabeth's location at the end of the day, but at least fans were going to get the answers ASAP, right? Well, not exactly. You see, after returning for just a few episodes, the season found itself on hiatus once more without communicating this fact to its fanbase. Without warning, the fans came to notice that the week's episode was nothing more than a rerun, which really rubbed them the wrong way. But according to the show's official website, it will be returning on Thursday, February 25th. According to reports, the hiatus was somewhat unscheduled and took the showrunners by surprise. But this is no excuse for the lack of communication with fans. Suffice to say, Season 9 has been a bit of a disappointment for a number of reasons, and with John Bokenkamp no longer behind the wheel, it feels like fans are suffering. Last but not least, let's talk about the reveal of the latest set photo. To make up for their irresponsible handling of the show over the last few weeks, the remaining showrunners decided to tantalize fans by releasing a set photo that seemingly paints a picture of the next episode on the horizon. And after a long hiatus, it looks like the task force is ready to hop into the action once more. The photograph shows each member of the task force sharing a somewhat concerned look, and Red appears to be missing in action for some reason or other. Either way, it's good to see the crew together once again. By the look of things, Dembe has also resolved the issues he was going through before, and we think Wrestler will be sharing the same character arc as he can now be seen without that overgrown stress beard of his. This is a good sign considering how the larger threat of the season has yet to be revealed, and we have a feeling the entire task force will be needed at the end of the day. There you have it, everything you need to know about the headlines revolving around the blacklist at the moment. What do you think lies ahead for the future of the show? And do you think Red's identity will eventually be revealed? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.